Hello everybody, it's me Heather and today I have a Mac haul. This is a new collection. It's the Mac Red 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 collection. This is one of those collections that when I first heard about it, I'm like, I don't want anything from this collection. I have enough reds. But for some reason it drew me in and even made me break a rule and I didn't even realize I broke the rule that I made for myself until I was just now putting everything out to do this haul video for you guys. And I will do live swatches of the lip products and I'll just show you what I got. So it made me break the rule that I do not, I try not to purchase items from Mac that are part of the permanent collection. I try to only purchase things that are limited edition because if you're buying the permanent line, just Mac is eating my wallet, you know. So, but I ended up actually getting quite a few items that are already part of the permanent line just because they really appealed to me. So I'll start with the lipsticks. There are four lipsticks. I actually did get all four. Two of them are from the permanent line, and two of them are limited edition. I'll start with the permanent line ones. This one is the shade Ladybug. It's a luster finish, just so you can see that. And the luster finishes, this is what drew me to it. I was kind of like, you know what, I actually like the idea of having a red or reddish lipstick that has kind of a sheer and super shiny finish. I do actually like luster finishes. Because they are so sheer and shiny, the wear time is obviously horrible, but I do really like, I don't mind reapplying. I, because I have a tendency to eat my lipstick anyways. Reapplying lipstick is my life. <laughs> so let me go ahead and do a lip swatch for you. This is Ladybug, a luster. This is part of the permanent collection. Wow, for a luster finish though, this has really nice pigmentation. So this is a really pretty, just nice wash of color of red. Let's move on to the next one. The next permanent shade, Sea Sheer, is described as a grapefruit pink. This is also a luster finish. So it's going to be that more sheer, super shiny look. Let's try it. Mmm, I love this. So pretty. That's great. And with these type of lipsticks, the lusters, you can always wear like a nude lipstick or any kind of lipstick primer that has like that nude tint to it. And then just put this on top and it'll give it more pigmentation, make it more true to color. Let's take a look at the two limited edition ones. This lipstick is called Five Alarm. It is a soft orange red. It is also a luster finish. Very nice. I really, like I said, I'm a fan of luster finishes. I know a lot of people aren't. Because honestly, to be, when it, when it comes to lipstick, usually I want stuff to be super duper pigmented. But for some reason, the idea of having a couple shades of sheer reddish lipsticks really appealed to me. All right, let's move on to the next one. Toxic Tail has a satin finish, and it's described as a bright coral. And I would say the name is very fitting, or the description. Let's do it. What a fun color. I love it. I honestly debated doing lip swatches of these since, well, basically the collection is pinks, reds, and corals. And I thought the colors might kind of run together and it might be kind of hard to tell what's what. So to be honest, these kind of, these kind of test my color perception, seeing a bunch of red, pinks, and corals together. Sometimes it gets kind of hard for me to tell them apart, to be honest. That's just my color perception. But I'm really liking these on my lips. I am seeing a difference with each shade on camera. I'm not sure how well they're reading differently. I'm sure this one reads the most accurately, whereas the others you may have not seen much difference. But they're all different enough that I'm happy I have them all. But you definitely don't need them all. If you pick one, I would go with this one. This one's Toxic Pale. The pigmentation is excellent. It's got that satin finish, so you know it's going to be long-wearing and Yikes, I better take this off because it's probably staining my lips, and I've got two other lip products. Okay, next I have a Dazzle Glass. This is actually part of the permanent collection, but I couldn't resist. I don't have a lot of MAC Dazzle Glasses, and this one is just super duper sparkly. It is called Love Alert, and if you haven't worn a MAC Dazzle Glass before, it has that kind of brush, and they're just kind of a really thick jelly-like <laughs> consistency.
So dazzle glasses have a rather thick consistency, and they're very sticky. So if you hate sticky lip glosses, pass on this one. I honestly don't mind if they're sticky because I know that'll extend the wear. And I just love how super duper shiny this is. All right, let's move on to the next lip product. There are also three cream sheen glasses in the collection. I decided to only get one. One is kind of a, you know, pale pink. The other one is a soft pink. And then you have this one, which is a bright orange cream. So this is a cream sheen glass named Night is Young. Ooh, let's try it. pretty. It feels really nice on the lips. Smells like vanilla, which is typical for MAC. Okay, so those are all the official lip products I have. I'll move next to the eyes. There are three eyeshadows in the collection. I got all three. So Give Me Fire is a soft pink champagne with pearl. It is a luster finish. So this is a shadow that's going to go on very sheer. And like I said, I'm not going to swatch that. I'm going to do a tutorial using the eyeshadows. I'll upload that tomorrow. This shade is Red Alert. It's a Velux Pearl finish, and it's described as a rusty red mid-tone copper. And the final eyeshadow in the collection is named Strike While Hot, and it's a true red matte eyeshadow. And it's reading pretty true to color in my viewfinder. So, happy about that. I will be trying those out. So I got a couple more items. They had three casual colors, lip and cheek colors. I picked up two of the three. I decided not to get all three because, frankly, one of them was just a very pale pink that I thought might end up just looking milky on my lips. Just might not, you know, just not probably wouldn't be a color I'd really want to wear. And then same thing, using it on my cheeks, maybe I could have used it as a highlighter, but I think it probably had too much pigmentation, so I think it just would have looked ashy on my skin. But I did get the other two that I'm excited about. Out for Fun is a cool coral. This can be used as a cream blush, or you can use it on your lips. I'll probably just use it more on my lips, or excuse me, I'll probably use it more as a cream blush than I will as a lipstick, but it's just a nice cool coral. And Out for Fun is actually part of the permanent collection. Secret Admirer is a coral pink, which is actually a perfect description. At first you look at it and you think it's red, but then you take a closer look and you hear coral pink and you can see that. You can see it's basically a pink toned coral. Really pretty. Okay. The next item I have here is a beauty powder. I've actually never purchased a beauty powder from MAC before. And these are basically supposed to be it just depends on your complexion, how you're going to use them. Obviously, if you have a really fair complexion, you could use this all over as a finishing powder. If you have a warmer complexion, such as I do, then I'm probably going to use it, try to use it as a highlighter maybe, see how that goes. Won't know till I try. Highlighter. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe eyeshadow. I don't know, but I really wanted to try one out. This is in, the, this is in Hot Sensation, and some people online have compared this to the Marilyn. Monroe Beauty Powder that they had not too long ago. So if you have the Maryland one and you're running low, this is very close. They're not 100% the same shape, but they're very close. And I picked up one of the nail polishes. Let me actually grab this from my collection. So Impassioned is part of the permanent line, and it's also being re-promoted in this collection. This is my personal one that I've used. It's already like down to here. And it's just like a really bright coral. It's called Impassion. That's part of the permanent line. And I picked up this limited edition one. This one is called Rouge Combustion. Look at that. It's just a really glittery red. It's just like, you know, Wizard of Oz, Dorothy's ruby red slippers, you know, ruby red shoes, excuse me, ruby red shoes. It's just that. And then I actually got two items that are not part of the collection because when it, I'm just not a big fan of having little eyeshadow, add eyeshadow singles like this. I always like to have them in a palette. So since there were only three shades, I went ahead and got um, a little pro palette from MAC. You can get these at any MAC store. They're just empty. You can pull that out whenever you want to change them out and stuff like that. But And then I went ahead and got a permanent eyeshadow. This is in the shade Ground Brown, just because I thought that would go well with these other shades and like I said tune in tomorrow I will upload probably tomorrow night 
I'll upload a tutorial using the eyeshadows from this collection. So this is everything that I got from the MAC Red 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 collection. There is one more red nail polish that I did not pick up because I have red nail polish. I'm good there. But this one I thought looked really cool, so I went ahead and grabbed it. But that is it. So, are you guys picking up anything from the MAC Red 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 collection? Are you sick of red? Do you just not wear red? Because MAC has put out a lot of reds this year. We know that. I just said red like 50 times in two seconds. And um, let me know if you guys want me to post swatches of everything on my Instagram and blog. If not, I won't. If you do, I will. Just let me know in the comments down below. Because um, you probably want to see some comparison pics maybe between some of the shades. Because... Like I said, swatching red after, you know, reds and pinks and corals all together, they can kind of get muddled and it can be kind of hard to tell them apart after a while. So let me know. Um, go ahead and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr if you don't already do so. And I have a surprise for you guys. If you've made it this far in the video, I do actually have uh, one extra item. I went ahead and got an extra lipstick. This is Toxic Tail. Let me grab mine to show you. There we go. This one's mine. <laughs> Better keep those separate so you don't get a one that I've been wearing. So I do have an extra one of Toxic Tail here that I'm going to give away to one of you. So here's Toxic Tail again. That's that really bright coral one. Gorgeous. The satin finish one. So a week from today. So what is today? Tuesday. So Monday. So probably Tuesday morning next week. Let me take a look at the calendar on here really quick. Okay, so I'll announce the winner on the 16th. So December 16th, 2014, I'll announce the winner of the giveaway. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment. That's it. I prefer in the comment that you just leave a comment. Don't say anything about a giveaway. Don't say thanks for the giveaway. Don't say enter me because... It gets a little boring reading a bunch of comments that say, thanks for the giveaway, enter me in the giveaway, I hope I win. Like, say something. Say, I love red lipstick or I can't have enough reds. Anything, for, you know, leave a comment about anything. I like turtles. I'm eating cheese puffs. I mean, leave some kind of interesting comment to enter, please. <laughs> Make this easy on me. And the giveaway is international. Um, all ages are welcome to enter. If you're under the age of 18, please get permission from a parent or guardian so that if you do win, you have permission for me to send it to you because I'd hate for somebody under the age of 18 to win and then their parents say, no, I don't want you receiving mail from a stranger. It's understandable. Okay, that is it. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.